is 37 minutes though. I don't want to. I just want to have a look at the inside, bro. I can't lie. When I saw this, when I was. Oh my god. In Iron. I wanted this so badly, bro. This. I didn't know it was an actual thing. This, this house is so. Iron Man House. The house's nickname is Iron Man House. Of course, um, bro. Which is quite apt because we've always been a fan of mid-century modern architecture. It's so beautiful. Nah, I can't like, I need, I, I need to be rich, bro. Like, oh, man. Nah, man, I just, oh, fuck. This is so beautiful, man. In LA, California. Hello, my name is Hanno Pengili. And this is my family home, Pengilly House, so known locally as the Iron Man House. A lot of people, if they were... How, how much are we thinking though? How much is this? You get me? How much is this going for? Ask me, what is my most intimate house? I would say Iron Man House. My name is Peter Brindain. I'm the founder and CEO of In Residence. We are extremely Fucking fortunate that oh. this level of property exists in Cape Town. Oh my god, look at it bro, the Welcome to this stunning property. I'm oh, the goat! And this, I love this guy. Bro, oh. Only on the main staircase. I love this guy, from bro. concrete walls. Such a good. Floating stone steps, stainless steel One of the best YouTubers railing, out there, bro. And House the YouTubers, bro. We have this beautiful indoor garden. I swear, man. But it's the amount of vids I've watched by him is fucked. Like, to the main level. Now, right in day, front of man, us is the great room or the Iron Man inspired lounge. This has to be one of the coolest spaces. I think, yeah, it's definitely the view that just has it, man. Just waking up to that and just, and the amount of space you have, it's just so like. Says, we have ever toured on our channel. The angled glass walls, it's so... concrete columns, concrete ceilings that run all the way to the exterior, views of the Atlantic Ocean. And we even have a feature pool that wraps around this room it's, this, it's either the sea view yeah or when you're in the city at night and you see all the lights on those two views just are, there's something, something just so special about that bro just space <sighs> looks absolutely unreal and check this out imagine just, Jarvis, just chilling on like your today? apartment yeah your apartment balcony well, and just seeing they don't that have shit Jarvis bro. here because this is not the real that would Iron be Man so, house oh. but this is as close to the Iron Man house as possible. Oh. In reality, the real Iron Man house is a sound stage somewhere in Hollywood, I'm sure, and the house is CG. But like Ines said, I feel like you can't really get much closer to staying Wait, in they the have the house. waterfall. They have the waterfall staircase thing. Than staying at this house. This you is know what, I just, I just want them to release a, a, a computer that is just touchscreen. Not touchscreen, but like, you know, like the Iron Man, like with the cool shit, you tap it and then it comes up with like a hollow, nah. I just want that shit to come out, man. The closest one, and it exists here in Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, it's South and I'm Africa. I'm excited that we got the opportunity to tour it. On top of that, we're actually staying here, so we're getting the full experience. Mm. And I gotta say, this property is incredible. Between the angular lines, concrete frame, concrete roof lines, glass walls, three pools, and these views throughout the property it's absolutely it's unreal. so elegant and man this is the great room i love this space you have your couch here seating on the other side these angled glass panels make this space feel like it's like a control room it's the control center for the spaceship look at these mm -hmm. unobstructed views yeah this is incredible what a space serious yeah. not only what a space but i have to say this is my first time really in sub-saharan africa in Cape Town. Imagine, imagine this is your job though, man. Just being able to tour just mansions and getting paid for it. It's fun. It's an incredibly beautiful place. The water's so blue. The Look weather's fantastic. Oh. There's really nothing to complain about. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. Now, before we move on, let's talk about the specs of this property. We have six bedrooms, okay. 10 bathrooms. This home is valued around- Look at that! Bro, you can't. Bro, imagine the sunset. Fuck off, man. Oh my, fuck off, bro. Just fuck off, man. Oh, just a million dollars. Oh, I actually, it's crying. actually not on the market for sale, but it is available for short-term rentals starting from hundred twenty thousand so... rand. I hope they get it up at night. to three hundred thousand rand, depending on the season. Wait, wait, how much did you say? Wait, 
16K per night. You rent this property. Big thanks to the booking agent, Philip Cullen, and in residence, who manages this beautiful home for allowing us to tour it and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about this incredible listing in the description of this video. Connor, that's actually so make sure to check it out. 16K per point, night. I think you get an amazing estate, fully staffed. Yeah, home, yeah, I mean, because, fair, you know, man. Like, it's a great value. It's fair now, enough, man. Across like, the great room, we have the kitchen, beautiful. Just even a layout, man. Even this is just tough to me, bro. When you have the, I, what is that? What is that? What is this called, bro? Is that called an island or something? I think that's called an island. That island that just, oh, I just. This is island. Yeah, wrap yeah, it's an stone. island. Yeah. I also like how they Beautiful. cover the columns with glass panels, including the ceiling, so you can appreciate the views even from your kitchen. Bar seating, informal dining area. You have a fireplace on the other side wine cellar around the corner and coming this way we can take a closer look at some of the kitchen cabinets here beautiful dark wood cabinetry you have your composite stone countertops small fridges dishwasher induction cooktop you have everything you need here they even have a bar sitting on this side so you can enjoy the views straight from your kitchen now this pivot door opens up to the chef's kitchen all white cabinetry island in the center you have your gas cooktop these washers. rich niggas bro have two kitchens one right behind another it's so fun this kitchen it's... also has a staff access oh, yeah, that that way they can come up here there easily without having to go through the house now before we move on right at the landing of the staircase we have a door that opens up to a really nice powder bathroom granite stone wall love the stainless steel sink there and this bathroom services the main level. Now, separating the great room I want to know how much dining is, area this is. is this elevator. Okay. This property actually comes with two elevators. Okay. This one goes to all four levels. And behind this elevator, we actually have the staircase taking us down to the level below. Now, I just want to get to the swimming pool, man. Incredible I've always wanted the inside swimming pool. Look at this Sign solid about, just, table, seating for cool. 10. I love these stainless steel chairs wrapped with leather. And on the other side, you can see these board form concrete walls giving so much texture to this space. Look how they incorporated this granite shelf here with a steel leg, copper drawer fronts, and then you have sliding glass doors opening up to your backyard. And this is where we have our meals. What an incredible spot, seriously. Yeah, this is a really cool dining room, obviously. Like a We've coffee. been doing a lot of work at this table, having our meals here, and it's- Are these men being paid? Are you being paid 17k a, a, a day? Incredible, you to can live just look out at these amazing views and this awesome I backyard. I bet they got that shit for free Absolutely. too. Absolutely. In fact, there's, there's let's no check way. out this gorgeous backyard. Nah. Grass section right in the center. I'll actually, I'll actually cry bro. Gulf Apostles, Atlantic Ocean, Clifton beaches down below. I would want to cry if, I, if I'm just standing there. Head. This if, I own, if I own that and I'm like, yo, I'll feel like I'm just, just, Immortal, bro. It's absolutely like beautiful. That nigga. I'm out of words. Yeah, the views from up here are incredible. And to elaborate more on what Innes was saying, 12 Apostles is this mountain range directly behind us with these 12 peaks. Yeah. And it really is one of like the most stunning mountain ranges I feel like I've ever seen. That's Super scenic. Man. Yeah, like this whole city, the layout of it, they can't, I guess, build above a certain height. So there's these two massive hills that basically separate downtown Cape Town from Clifton, where we currently located. When I was flying the drone, it was just jaw-droppingly beautiful. Absolutely. The drive we had there the other day was absolutely fantastic. And this property, by the way, this grass section right in the center is super rare. If you look at the properties around Clifton, mm -hmm. you'll realize that most of them are hillside homes and they don't really have grass yards. But because this home is built on three lots, you get this amazing space right in the center. And speaking of the plot, let's talk about the way they built this house. Okay. So it consists of four, four levels. Oh my God. Four levels. We're currently on the third floor where we have the it's, main level. It's just such a unique shape. I think that's what I love about it. It's so just different. I, even, I can't even describe like down below us we have the amenities and the guest suites the first floor is the exterior entry and the 12 car garage and on the fourth level we have the junior primary bedroom and the primary bedroom itself which will tour last 
but this property, these views, this lot, and this architecture is absolutely incredible. Before I talk about some of the details here, I gotta say, this home reminds me, the Sheets Goldstein residence. I knew you were gonna say that at some point. All the board form concrete. Glass. All the glass. Uh, it's like Club James, which is the nightclub attached to that property. That's but, not real, bro. That's not real. Uh, it's That's like actually James, not real. Which is the nightclub attached bro, to that. Bro, that just. Oh my god. That's. That property. Exactly. But on a much larger scale. Look at that. I can't lie, bro. We're, de we're developing a bit too fast, bro. I don't like this, man. I don't like this, bro. This looks too futuristic. Just the shapes and just the... Oh, nah. It's, this, it's literally cyberpunk shit, bro. This is scaring me. It's beautiful, but it's like... They use the John Lautner house in Los Angeles. The only, the only problem I have with like the futuristic shit is like... It kind of takes away from, um, you know, how simplistic it is. Like, you know, back in the day, how like there's churches, there's cathedrals that have very just beautiful details on it. And if you, if it, if things become more simpler, I feel like it takes away from the actual, I don't know, man. Angeles as the inspiration. I want that to be a, to say, you get me a let's mixture. Let's this on the African continent to show them that we can actually bolt this. I think that's it's another important though. point. That, that house there this property, is, yes, fuck. It's a new experience. We're not used to being in spaces like this outside of museums or airports or whatever. I actually love There's houses, room in the house. The ethos of this architecture oh is Oh my nah, the infinity. You know, There's not a you know what, for the longest time, yeah? The ethos of for the longest time, I thought this was literally a cliff. Like, that's how infinity pools worked. Like, it w there was not like a little feature at the bottom that caught the water. I thought the water flew off the fucking top of the, I was like, this architecture is to bring the outside. I was in. an idiot, bro. Yeah, you know, that's why the roofs are all. I was like, yo, how the fuck they the do that? Everything's always trying to bring everything to you. You know, likewise, Lautner okay. has, I think, something more relevant for where we are here, which is a much greater connection with nature. Bro, that was and ground, but that was Lautner's groundbreaking when I found out was that was actually not the, the case. That it was placed. I was like, yo, and that really excited us. And the beauty of that, no, but is that are beautiful, the architecture man. invites nature in. Mm. wherever you look and that was important for us i guess and looks like fucking batman bro have something that again was timeless would stand the test of time was exciting uh, but also had a huge respect for the environment that it was built in well this house is unique in so many ways i can remember many years ago driving the road below this house and seeing it being built mm. and at the time thinking to myself hey, that's incredible it was like a, i knew something special was coming It's funny how life works. We find ourselves in moments like this where our past meets our present. Getting the chance to tour the iconic Goldstein residence a few years ago was a highlight moment for us. Wow. Its architecture and interior design was so Yeah, impactful. I need that, bro. And now being in a space that was inspired by that indeed, indeed, iconic Byron. home was just a cool indeed. moment to observe indeed. and be a part of. It's, like a, it's kind of like a replica. I mean no and I gotta say, this home is very livable. Normally, a lot livable. of times no we shit. just the properties, but this time we're staying here. We're using the living room, dining area. My room, which is the primary bedroom, is so comfortable, so cozy, and you get to live in this to, space bro, and appreciate care. the architecture throughout the day, which is insane. Why the fuck Look are you at the cantilevering there? roof lines above me. It's all board form concrete. These glass walls, the angled glass where we have the Iron Man lounge. The views behind that, just incredible. I'm out of work. It's my like, sleep what a it's property. Wrapped. How it's designed, it took him five years to build. It was completed in 2015. I'm fucked too. And just seeing these board from You've concrete chilling, walls, man. the way this property curves. We've been chilling, we're still fucked, you get me? such a minimalist palette, but it works. You my have sleep patterns, it's actually chopped, bro. It's so, oh, don't even get me, it just pisses me off, man. Like, I think I'm able to stay up 24 hours. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm calm at this time. And then I try to do, it hits like 4 p.m. And I'm like, yo, I actually fucking sleep, bro. I can't do this no more, man. Have your terrazzo and then it's just, 
And I just you never fix it. Sliding glass doors opening up and flowing the space. I'm embracing it now. Backyard. Fuck it all. You have the covered section here. Small no, there was a time where you had. No, your shit was good though, weren't it? At, at one point, it was good. How did you fuck? Seating area, dining area, built ins. And this is the first part of your backyard. It gets better. Oh. Right in front of Mikey, for like we two have a weeks. staircase that, that takes must you down have to the guest level. Wrong. That way, guests can come up Happy here two weeks and alive. enjoy <laughs> this amazing pool, which is on this side. I mean, look at the space. Infinity Edge pool. This cantilevering roof line is absolutely incredible. Look at the amount of concrete they have up there floating above this Infinity Edge pool. And moments like I think this mine was in Jamaica, so bro. I had to I mean, fix it, man. We have the coolest job I just the stayed world. up all we night. We get to see some basically. of the most beautiful architecture, and this is just. Uh, this is incredible. Waking up yeah, at 9 a.m., bro, cool every day. We get to stay in places every like day. Actually, I get DMs. On Didn't matter what time I, I went saying, to bed. I was just waking up. I think you up. might have the coolest job in the world. You, ev you think I, I could ever be depressed with this house? With this house? Bro, I wouldn't, bro. There's... Uh, That's the only problem, though. You need you need a lot of people living with you, I feel like, with this with, with huge houses, man. Because you're going to feel hella empty, though. I always agree the house with them, is supposed you know? to be... it's, hard, it's hard to argue with that. You know what I'm saying? I agree too, and uh, this is fantastic. I don't know, I've never been and in a huge house. So in a second. Now, we actually have I'm a staircase here going up exactly. to the second floor of this section the where we have two guest suites. For, for We're going to check out those spaces day. in a second, but for I now, it. I want to bring everybody here so we can check it. out this after All I need is a swimming pool, bro. That's all I need. Even though I can barely swim, bro, I just, I just want one. All right. I have to say, Indoor. this is one of the coolest after showers, need, if not the coolest after shower cry we week. have ever seen on our channel. <laughs> Look at this space. It's open on top. Now, I was just saying, bro, it was, there was this part here. I'm, I'm going to go back to this part. It was the... Was it here? What part was it? It was a part where you're standing on the grass, right? I was like, imagine you're just standing there, bro, and you're just looking, yo, just looking out, bro. Just every day, you just have that. Nah, just fuck off, man. Like, oh, it's just something to just. I crave this shit, bro. Real shit. Imagine I'm fucking in that shit. We're gonna yeah. check out those spaces in a second, but for now, I want to bring everybody no, here too rich, so we can bro. check out this outdoor shower. <laughs> I have to say, this is one of the coolest outdoor showers, if not the coolest outdoor shower we have ever seen on our channel. Bro, look, look at, at how thick that head is, bro. There's no pause with that. Look at how thick that shit is, bro. Oh my. Look at this space. It's open on top. Rain head above me. You have granite throughout. These angular lines. So futuristic. This property is gonna age so beautifully. Yeah, and this is actually one of the few places in the house that I haven't used personally. So after we have a swim tonight, I think I'm gonna come out here and play <laughs> the show. You enjoy that shit. You should you check it out. What an amazing space. And then we have these steps. 16K per night. I side. mean, fuck it, bro. Yeah, stacked stone, <laughs> board from concrete walls. This is the second elevator <laughs> that connects this wing of the house. Bash session. And then underneath this cantilevering roof structure, we have <laughs> the pool deck. What an amazing space to entertain. Enjoy. You have built-in seating on the right-hand side. You're wrapped I can't lie, Pyro, though. You, you missed, um, you missed, you missed um, like, the elite, like... The, the elite of the most elite snow bunny I've ever seen, bro. Like, it got me like contemplating my life, bro. Like, it's, oh, oh my god, it was crazy, bro. I'm not even. Not even. Around bar, barbecue station behind Mikey, and we have massive no, outdoor speakers, bro. I Built swear, in bro, disco bro, lights. Man. This is a place just, to entertain, throw parties, and just enjoy life. Flagstone floors, built-in seating, infinity edge pool. What an incredible space. I feel like this at? house shouldn't exist. She's, bro, she's in, a, she's in our memories, bro. I'll tell you that. <laughs> she's engraved in my memory. That's where she's at right now. Or cannot be <laughs> real, but somehow it's real. And they pulled it off, and it's in Cape Town. I feel like after our video comes out, a lot of people are going to find out about this house, nah, and it's going wow. to become a popular nah, place nah, I can't, for I'm, I'm good, movie bro. I'm shoots, good now, bro. TV shows, that kind of thing, uh, because it really doesn't look real. Like it doesn't look possible, you know? Yeah, it is a stunning estate. But not not too engraved, like bro. Earlier, not for me to you like. Have you the get me? Infinity Edge on this nah. side, 
where you can just enjoy these views. Again, this cantilever roof line might can stay right there. Bro, just everything being so like, oh. Bro, there's a whole fucking, you don't even need a fucking swimming pool there, bro. Just, just a, f nah, man. Just fuck off, man. Look at this view. I mean, seriously, it doesn't get much better. And around the corner, we have a full bathroom for the pool deck, walk-in showers, vanities, everything you need. And the last thing I want to cover here is this skylight bringing natural light. It is actually on the balcony of the guest suites. And like we said earlier, we have a staircase wrapping around this structure and taking you up there. Even coming up to this level is an experience. Look at the cantilevering roof line that's behind. I can't believe I've been existing without Illustrator. What, what do you use Illustrator for? Behind me, we have a small deck area and two guest suites. We're gonna start sure. our tour with this one. King size bed, mm. concrete walls. Oh yeah, my dad uses that all the time. Really my, unique yeah. angles. One of the best thing is just being able to see as far as possible with no obstructions or buildings or anything. Yeah. Literally, you could get lost in that, bro. You could get lost in that. You could, I would. That's much probably why the sunset. That's much probably why the sunset is so beautiful, you know. Because deep it, when a sunset happens, yeah, when you can see a full sunset, bro, nothing is obstructing obstructing your view. Nothing, bro. Just oh. See, when I go to New York and I go to the rooftop where I can see the whole skyline, I'm ending it all, bro. That's a good way to end it, bro. All my life, can't be better than Norway. Yo, don't get me started, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Northern Lights is fucked bro The fact that shit happens like pretty much every day As well as this, It's actually fucked I actually like this wooden You know what I'm pissed about you know Because bro You know what I'm pissed about Is where, where I went in Jamaica right There was this place right And at night The water is basically vibrant blue I don't know what it's called and it's the only place in Jamaica that fucking has that shit because it's something to do with fresh water and, and salt water just colliding, yeah? Bro, they, how they tell me that? How do my how do my parents tell me that there's something like that there the last day, bro, when we're leaving? It's just like, bro, like, that's why I need to go there again, bro. I would have sworn, bro, shit. Oh yeah, if I see the Northern Lights as well, end of the year is gonna change everything for me. I'll never be able to live normally again. This sounds something, that sounds like something crazy, bro, I'll be real. Something crazy. Section here, and then your entire bathroom is open. And I know this is a Sign guest crazy. suite and it's all about the experience, but Just can we talk about this concrete ceiling and this roof line and how it in November, I'm going Norway. <laughs> oh my God. You're eating, bro. You're fucking eating. You're eating. I'm already showing my gum, my monitor, my gums. Extensive <laughs> here. It's absolutely beautiful. And come on in so we can check out the bathroom. Terrazzo floors. Floating vanity on this side, mirror wall. This is your walk-in shower. How cool is that? Pretty insane. Oh, and you have the water closet on the other side, clear sir windows bringing natural light, and all the toiletries, oh, towels, oh. details. In residence is the company that manages this estate. Bro, and look. Oh, wait, where's the drain the then? The details Where the fuck it drain? The with all these details, accessories, the water bottles, you name it. They provide everything for you to have a flawless vacation experience. Now, just let's every walk out to this stop, amazing man. balcony stop. Stop. on this level. Stop. The views are fantastic. Great elevation, glass railing throughout. And I want to apologize to everyone because I feel like throughout this tour, I'll be talking about Cape Town and views nonstop because it's hard not to. Even though bro, I don't blame you, bro. We will have this one day. Um, on my life, we will. On my life, we will.
showing this amazing property oh, nice. and there's a good chance I'm gonna lose my mind to cover all the architectural details. This landscape here and the way this property is situated Cape Town is such an integral part of this home. How could you not talk about the views? Behind us, we have these 12 apostles that are currently covered in clouds, um, but uh, the landscape is just so stunningly beautiful that- That's why I love watching this, because it's actually motivation, bro. These type of vids are just motivation, because like, bro, like, oh my. Of course, you gotta How talk can about you not like watch this and not room. be motivated? Well said, Mikey. And also, we're touring two other properties here. The Beyond House, I could watch this which all is day, only bro. a block it's behind so this property. Nice. Oh my and fucking the White House, so we're gonna see different views and get a chance to understand Cape Town even more, which I'm really, really excited about. Now, we talked about the skylight down below the pool deck. You can actually stand on it. Very cool detail. And then on the other side, we have accordion glass doors opening up to the second guest suite on this like ring. Even that bed just looks bed, just... Angular oh, lines. Bro, look at how plump that shit is, Around bro. the corner, it also comes it's like with my a bathroom. Oh, you have your walk-in shower, vanity, everything you need. Just... And it is definitely a spacious guest suite. And with that, we're done on this level. It's nice that you get word, two man. guest suites on this wing, just on their own. Over, just you have these views. Straight, just and now let's dick. go all the way down to the first floor so we can cover Fucking the just... arrival experience. Two beautiful views, bro. <laughs> Literally. When people look at the photos, they think that it is harsh. It's a lot of concrete vast open spaces but this house has been designed in such a way I can't lie thank you Peter you bro thank you believe when you start relaxing thank you, bro. how you enjoy it thank you bro luxury for me is all about thank you prime bro. you know for us within in residence those first two days of any booking is extremely important i personally love that you don't experience the staff in your space because i want you to relax we work extremely hard behind the scenes to have this seamless experience. Oh, so you could pay you could you could pay 16k for one day and they'll give you they'll they'll make you food. Oh my god. I'll be so happy. So it that. starts with hospitality oh, no. grade cleaning. Just sleep in From there, there oh, you my. start having chef security oh. and to integrate all of this is not easy because remember at the villa there is no staff. So we merge hospitality with the residential world. This house is available for short-term let. It has never been in the past, and we are very proud. What we so have you're, they would never sell it? Is that what? Done They're for the family piss, and with this specific property. They're taking a piss, bro. They know it's that special, bro. They know. The Rari, this is where ooh, this okay, incredible this is, this is, property starts. You have this, this is long like driveway it. with a security booth and it brings you to this point. Cobblestone driveway takes you all the way to the 12 car garage. But first, I want to point out what's above us. This massive structure with stacked stone exterior. Those two picture windows are looking out from the spire area that we're going to see in a bit. And if you look above, oh, you can see the response. curved lines of that. this beautiful property. Cantilevering roof lines. Look at the, oh. Also off of the entry Bro, if GTA 6 doesn't have something like this, I'm going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. I want to look down on it, guys, bro and a staff access that takes you all the way up to the kitchen. Now, but I wanna, I way, wanna feel like I'm, I'm really that guy, bro. To the 12 car garage. Now check this out. Get me, you this just done a, you just done a high, you buy a nice this. house so with a push of a button, to get me. You can just spin your car and this makes and it really can, easy for oh. you to pull in and out of this amazing garage. I'm just praying that now, shit. Now coming just... to this side, glass enclosed entry, double doors open up and you have beautiful terrazzo floors. Water feature on each side elevator landing and the staircase taking you up to the second floor. Now, before we leave this space, I want to cover some of the areas. You have your concierge room here. Okay. This door on my left opens up to the gym, which is actually very spacious, comes with its own full bathroom, and you have another access point to your garage. Mike, actually, come in for please, a second. Please, please, just show it. Let's show, show it. The show the whole thing. Here. Show it. Oh and my we have God. A glass bridge oh. above that we're going to cover later, but a really spacious garage. And we have some nice cars here as well. Mercedes. And with that, we're done with the landing. Now, a I want to take this and curving platform. staircase here oh to the second floor, beautiful floating steps, and it brings you to this point. Again, we have the elevator landing behind me. I got to talk about these curved pocket doors. Huh? What an exquisite detail, right? It's like a vault, you know? It's really cool. Super cool. Brass. And on the other side, we have this amazing bar. 
Look at all the angles, bar stools, you have your ice maker, fridges, everything you need. And on the other side, you have your glass accordion doors opening up to a really nice terrace shared by the two guest suites that we have on this level. Now, before we leave this section, I wanna point out, you can open up this concealed door to a really nice powder bathroom. And on the other side of the bar, we have the seating area, super cool couch, casement window, clear story oh, windows above going that? all the way into your oh, indoor. Oh, that's what I bought. No fucking insta. Full fuck fuck TV on fuck this side fuck fuck and Bowers and Wilkins speakers. Bro, just Help go in there, please. Go in there, please. Area. Yeah. I want to uh, see it. I guess this is the theater for the house, technically, right? Technically. I mean, you have black house here. It's open. open. He's going to go in there, please. And yeah. So please. The mood theater. Well, please. Like uh, we've talked about on this tour, we've been staying here, but this space is relatively unexplored. So yes. we have to come yes. down here and uh, yes. try to enjoy it while we're here, you know? We have to. Now, let's go through this glass door so we can check out the indoor pool area. This space is so cool. Those are the two picture windows that I mentioned on the exterior. Looking out to the Atlantic oh Ocean, my! three windows. This pool is heated, inlaid with beautiful granite. The same granite that we've been seeing throughout the tour. And a then on the outside, we have the hot tub. Bro, you can easily access it from pool. this point. I gotta say, this is a really cool space. Bro, the it's way super spacious. Oh. Let's go to the other side, Mikey. Door opens up a to sauna. the sauna. And across from the sauna, we have the steam shower. Again, all inlaid, mm. beautiful natural stone. Now, follow me this way. This, too this much door space, opens bro. up to another powder bathroom. This one is actually really spacious with some open shelving, same style vanity that we've been seeing throughout. It complements this section really well. And it's nice that you have all these amenities in the bro, look at how, sauna, look at how shower, everything you need look at how within tall. this property. Now you may be wondering where this hallway leads us. These walls are. This concealed door opens back to the second floor landing, uh, which is really nice. Now, going through this glass door, we go to this glass uh, bridge, which is super cool. It takes you to the other wing of this home, and what a cool bro, moment look at the reflection. this property. You look can look down to your 12 car tough. garage. I really like this space. And continuing this way, we have the two guest suites outdoor staircase that takes you up to the pool deck. We talked about the staircase earlier and we're gonna continue our tour with the first guest suite on this side. King size bed right in the center, plush carpet. I love glass, built-in headboard design. Glass water, but they yeah. Line. This open shelf here with copper, <laughs> glass water. looks beautiful. <laughs> bottles of water, built-in cabinetry That's on this bowl, side. And obviously we have sliding glass doors opening up bro, to a really everything nice is just where you can enjoy these views. Now. Around the corner, we have the floating TV, built-in oh cabinetry, and if you go in, we have a nice open walk-in shower a bathroom walk -in shower. And I really like how they have this clear story window starting from the water closet, running all the way into the walk-in shower. That way, you can benefit from the natural light coming into this room, even in your bathroom. Really nice detail. And you can see the ocean straight from your shower. Well said. There's not one. Now, there's not one patio. bedroom with this no view. Connects all That's the so rooms fun. On this level, starting from the guest suites here, and on the other side, it opens That's up the fire area, that is which we covered earlier. Nice flag stone. You can see these recessed skylights that bring natural light to the garage that's below us, and like Mike said, amazing, amazing views. Now on the other side, we have another set of. Wait, I want to. I want to see how his how his foot is cushioned when he walks into this into this room. I want to see how thick the doors opening up to this the carpet is. Second guest suite. Come on now. On I need to see his, let me see his shoes, bro. Bed right in the center, built in cabinetry, Fuck. TV. Let me see it. You have your full bathroom. The design of this room is pretty much the same as the room that we just toured. So I wanted to quickly show it Come to on everyone. Now. Step in. Now, Step in. Let's Step in. Continue our tour. We have another sliding glass door here opening up to the living room and the kitchen area for the guest quarters. Bro, I love I the shape of everything. I really like this space, the cabinetry on the back, and then you have this really unique couch, the angles of this property, the amount of natural light coming in, it's really special. Now, if you look at the seating area, we have a beautiful coffee table in the center, TV, built-ins, smooth concrete walls, and this space connects to the hallway that we just talked about earlier, mm. which is really nice. There's a great continuity here. It's such and a nice flow corner, as well, man. Like bathroom servicing this floor. The house now, just this flows side, just like the, the it's just it's perfect. Warm wood paneling, secondary staircase. It's not too confusing. Houses, you get me? It's elevator. nice and simple and this straightforward. One goes all the way up to the pool deck. So in total, you have two elevators servicing both sides of this property. Now, right in front of me is the kitchen. But before we go there, I actually want to take everybody to the third guest suite 
on this level. King size oh bed. Oh my god. Amazing views of the Atlantic Ocean. Love this cozy built-in seating area. The fact this is this ain't even the master yet. That's fucked. Fireplace around the corner, TV, and obviously room is extremely spacious. We have this warm wallpaper throughout, built-in cabinetry on the back, really nice bake-up area, and I love the copper finishes there. Now on the other side, this entire bathroom is glass enclosed. You have a walk-in shower with a rain head, freestanding tub, vanity, and I just love how futuristic this room is. Finishes details here, towel heater, and again, views of the Atlantic Ocean. The way it Pretty just awesome loops around as well. And like we talked about is, earlier, is, right next door yeah, is fun. the kitchen. I like the way they it's fabricated fun. this island here. Angle, that's that's the second kitchen lines, as well. Well, oh, that's the third, it looks the third so kitchen. I mean, even the cabinetry <laughs> is on an angle here. And this is a proper kitchen. You have your sink, induction cooktop, oven, dishwasher, coffee maker, everything you need and i just love how open this space is you have two sliding glass doors opening up to these amazing views it's the shape of it that's really got me man it's so how close nice the kitchen is to the edge of this room that way you can enjoy these breathtaking views stop bro stop I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bus bro stop stop oh what's it cape down a part now cape down is the whole fucking package. beautiful outdoor Beautiful nature, that, man. amazing level of luxury accommodation, next level of food refinement, then a coffee culture, wine culture, and then value for money. I don't think any city in the world can compete mm. with what Cape Town has to offer. Okay. So the Iron Man House presents a unique opportunity for visitors in terms of the fact that it makes Cape Town very accessible. You get to come to this beautiful place and experience this beautiful house but oftentimes is the case that we find people come for a few weeks, stay in this beautiful I house, said a few weeks. end up looking at other properties, and before you know it, they're, uh, they're looking to buy something here. Wow. If you have a lust for life, if you're passionate about nature, if wow. you love people. I just want to I want to hike up there, sign, life, bro. If you're passionate about I would, nature. Like, oh. We just. Uh... If you love people, and good food and good times, South Africa is a place wow. that you have to experience. It will find its way into your heart, and I promise you, you will return at some point. Like, how do you even manage to curve the stone like that? All right, let's check out the top floor. Here I love go. the land here. here. here Two indigenous trees, skylight above and it brings you to this point. Now on this level, we have two bedroom suites and an office. The door at the end opens up to the primary bedroom and we're gonna continue this way so we can start our tour with the office. Board from concrete walls, small powder room on this side and the door at the end opens up to this amazing study. I personally really like this space, how you have floor to ceiling, glass doors opening Yo, up. Imagine a setup I don't need in to there. mention the views anymore. Yo, imagine a setup and you're like, oh! And you have a solid ah. table, nice cozy seating <laughs> area, TV, built-ins, <laughs> and the built-ins on this side with these copper oh. fronts. It's such a unique contrast to see concrete, beautiful dark wood, and copper wow. work together seamlessly and having glass and ocean on the other side. This is a fantastic office. It's not the biggest, but something not about the, biggest, the color palette here, the way it's designed. Bro, I appreciate I you wearing for real being in there, man. Like, I would love to love have this game. as my office. And you I too, don't man. Say have that a like, have like, a I really room. enjoy the space. Yeah, this was actually the last yes, room that Ennis and I saw when we first arrived at the property, and it was a good last room to see. Uh, this, I think, is one of my favorite offices we've ever had on the channel. It's just it's condensed, so, it's, warm, yeah, it's, it's copper, it's and very of course, warm. the emotion piece. Absolutely, and I have to show this to everyone. John Lutner, they were really inspired by mm. him when it comes to designing this property. And you have this beautiful book here. That's right. Amazing office. All right, let's continue. Back to the hallway. And the first bedroom we're going to see is the junior primary bedroom. Okay. King size bed. I love how the headboard hugs the wall behind the bed. You have your built-ins, TV, sliding glass. Oh, what, are these, what are these covers? What are these? Because they look just too comfortable. So it's opening I need up to the balcony. And look at that what roof. What are these coops? Whatever. I even know what you call these bitches. And goes to the exterior. Obviously amazing views yes. and we have an open bathroom here. By the way, this is where Mikey stays and freestanding tub, walk-in shower, 
separate water closet, and this futuristic vanity. Wow. What a bedroom. Yeah, so far staying here has been absolutely fantastic. I love keeping this door open at night and just hearing the sounds of the waves just crashing on the beach. There's nothing fuck better fuck to fall asleep stop, stop. To, you know? Stop, bro, stop, uh, stop. I couldn't more. Stop. Now, let's continue our tour back to the landing. Again, I just love this space. Glass railings. Bro, the fact they get the stator overnight is just, landing, it's crazy. And the door at the end, which is the pivot door, opens up to the primary bedroom. I love this space. King size bed right in the center. You have two massive glass doors opening up to a wraparound terrace. Room is extremely spacious. And Bro. I promised Mikey that I'll do this. While we were doing the tour of this room, they have a pop-up TV that comes oh. out of the bed, which is super cool. Leaves your views open since you're facing the Atlantic Ocean. This is amazing. I love this room. You know I love little details like this. Automatic oh TVs, my you know, God. water fixtures. Uh, Look at it. Why not do it while we walk through the space? A house like this calls for it, you know? Exactly. And you have your mini bar on the other side, beautiful finishes, warm wood paneling, bore from concrete walls, fireplace around the corner. Yeah. Even the ceiling Serious. has this mirror treatment with Serious. cold lighting. What a cool space. Serious. I mean, look at the roof lines. And then every morning, I just walk outside, yeah. enjoy this terrace, yeah. Yeah. watch the sunset here. Fantastic. I don't want to leave. I don't want to go back to LA. Yeah, I just I disagree with one thing, and that it is warm in here. You keep this place hot. I do like my room warm, and it's just a cozy space. You know, look at this bed frame and how this headboard is designed. It's so futuristic, yeah. so timeless. And like I said earlier, Mad the show, futuristic. You have a really nice mini bar on this side. Now follow me this way. Let's check out the primary bathroom, which is just as special. Ooh. You have also a really nice walk-in closet, <laughs> built-in cabinetry, massive skylight above. <laughs> I really like these copper drawer fronts. And this is it for your walk-in closet. And then you have the bathroom on this side. Super Bro, open. look at how big, it's just too closet. spacious, man. Your vanity has two built-in sinks, board from concrete wall, curves beautifully. Look at all the hardware and fixtures around the freestanding tub. So futuristic, so cool. Have you used that yet? I have not used a freestanding tub. Come on now. I'll admit, I never use a freestanding tub on these properties. I have a freestanding tub in my room as well. Um, and you'll probably never use it. Yeah, I, I always want to. How long they there for, man? Because I have an amazing walk-in shower. Look at this space. What? The two rain That's a shower. Again, I love these fixtures. I also really appreciate that they left the board from concrete what? exposed in the walk-in shower. Two built-in drains, <laughs> toiletries, details, and it's Yo, I thought he was just walking. To your wraparound terrace. What a property. We traveled all the way oh, to the sun Cape setting. Town, the South sun Africa. Setting. The sun setting. And two more other properties. Oh, nah. If you're enjoying these tours, nah. just make sure to give don't, us a like don't, and uh, don't, subscribe don't. to our channel. We would really appreciate that. Too, and what a special place, huh? Yeah, obviously, Ennis and I can't say enough good things about this place. The views from up here are absolutely incredible. Just the way it looks at sunset every night. It looks. Oh my God. I will have this one day. We will. It's like a painting in the sky. It's just incredibly beautiful. Yeah, the way the air feels, the sound of the ocean, and the landscape of Cape Town Look at it, man. is truly one of a kind. Sunset, here we go, here we go, here we go! <laughs> if you want to experience one of the most beautiful sunsets in the world, it is at Iron Man House. The sun sets over the pool, so you can <laughs> Yo, imagine just, just, oh, nah. I believe the orange and the yellows that comes out, it is just the most beautiful sunset that you can find in Cape Town. I love Iron Man House because the family that built it is really great. The way that you are being treated, the way that the house is to live in, mm -hmm. this is a huge amount of yeah, time that. that somebody decided that to I'm... take to create such a product. <laughs> it, this is cool well that. thought, many years. Oh, look! What is even? Bro, this, nah, this looks like a Minecraft mod. It looks like a... Nah, it, does, it, 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 it looks like a many people within the family and i think this is what we are feeling is the family's generosity of spirit now the night tour here we go <laughs> bro that has to be a filter bro there's that's not that's not real bro that can't be real that can't be even the sky is rich 
through. As the night fell, Peter and his team at In Residence treated us to a stunning and elegant wow. multi-course dinner. They're so meticulous with setting and atmosphere, all the way down to the table setting and menus. All of this was accompanied by impeccable service and one of the finest cognacs Rich in the niggas, world. Rich niggas, bro. Tress. Rich fucking niggas. Oh. This whole experience at Iron Man seems surreal. The friends we made, the dishes we ate, the places we discovered, I said that dishes, that would not fill me up. incredible nature and scenery. It makes it hard to leave wow. Cape Town, but I'm glad we still have more to explore. That's it for the tour. What a day it has been wow. touring this incredible property and getting a chance to hear the thoughts of the people that are behind this stunning perfect. estate. I want to give That's big real. thanks to Philip Gullen and In Residence for making this tour possible. And as always, you can find more information about this beautiful listing in link. the description of this video. Link. I'm looking at so it after, Make sure bro. to check it out. Now, if you enjoyed our tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys I fucking, in the next nah, one. Nah, I love, I love this nigga's videos, bro. I love it. I love it.